Hi there. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about mindfulness and decluttering. You know, I was taught when I was growing up to push things out of my mind if they were uncomfortable thoughts. Don't dwell on it, I used to say. Well, I haven't figured out, well, I finally figured out how I um, really don't prefer to be um, mindless instead of mindful. Um, being mindful is really valuable when we're decluttering. Mindfulness um, means you're bringing your complete attention and awareness to the present moment without judgment. So when applied to decluttering, being mindful can greatly enhance the process. Um, it can make it more effective. Um, a few ways to incorporate mindfulness uh, into your decluttering is um, be intentional about what you do. Um, you know, set your intention before you start decluttering. Take a minute and clear your thoughts for the process. Ask yourself why you want to declutter and what you hope to accomplish. This will help you remain focused and motivated throughout the job. So like if you have a messy catch-all room and you want to turn it into a guest room, there's your purpose. And as you're working through to get it that way, it'll keep you motivated having a visual picture of what you want to end up with. Um, begins with something small. You know, decluttering can often be overwhelming, especially if you have a lot of possessions. Start with a small area or one category, such as a side table or a specific type of item. Break it down into practical chunks, and that'll help you stay present and avoid feeling overwhelmed. So stay in tune with your emotions. When you sort through your belongings, notice how you feel about each item. Be aware of any attachments or emotional reactions that come up, um, and observe these emotions without judgment. Um, consider whether the item truly serves you or it's merely clutter. You know, it always helps to feel gratitude for things you decide to keep and appreciate their purpose or their sentimental value. Letting go of items, though, can be easier when you acknowledge the positive impact they have had on your life, and then you release them with no guilt or obligation. So slow down the process. Decluttering does not need to be a hurried task. Take your time. Carefully examine each item, appreciating its presence and considering its usefulness. This deliberate approach will help you make more thoughtful decisions and avoid impulse choices. So stay in the present. Don't get caught up with the past or concerned about the future. Your attention needs to be focused on the present moment and engage your senses as you evaluate each item. The, this mindfulness will augment your decision process. Decluttering is not just about organizing your physical space. It can have a positive impact on your emotional happiness. Through integrating mindfulness into the process, you can cultivate a feeling of peacefulness and clarity. Work with intention to create an organized and harmonious living space. So take care and I'll see you next time.